are you getting 400 error status code on your website whether it is not found forbidden or something like that then you are in the right video because in this video we are going to explore and fix 400 status code which you can apply on your website and eradicate those issues and increase your http visibility on search engine so hey guys my name is raman and welcome to web editor channel and in this video we are going to talk about the 400 error status codes yes so what is this and how you can actually fix that on your website whether your wordpress or not wordpress user or how you can actually get benefited from it and apply that on your project so if you have not subscribed to this channel please click that red button you will be amazed by the content we are going to upload in upcoming weeks days and months so without further ado let's get started so if you go to the samrush.com you may have get the 5xx status code out there okay whenever you audit your website there must be a url that gets 5xx status code so you can apply multiple steps that i describe in this particular video on your website so what is 4xx status code see 4xx is something which is not there or forbidden so there is two type of error which are very common first is 403 which is forbidden it's not there or it's forbidden to the public you can easily rectify that by adding something in your apache server or something like that and second is 404 not found which is the url out there is not found the content out there is not found so you can apply or re rewrite that content or re create that particular website page such that that particular url will be gone and that's about it this is the two main which is the most common out there so how to fix that let's talk about that so first thing you can do is see the url that is giving the 404 url so there may be a different type of url that gives a 404 on you there may be a post that has been deleted there may be a page that has been deleted maybe you have moved your website to the another server or you have bought website from something someone and there may be some pages that are missing now first condition is if that particular page actually beneficial for you and you want that to be on your website then you should start creating that particular page yes if you are wordpress user what you can do is find the text if it's related to some category or relate it's just a stand alone page then go to your post and start adding your post by just clicking add new post and start adding that post and now after you added that post let me say add new post and now if you cl click on save draft and now what you need to do is you need to add it this particular url yeah this is the slug you need to add it you need to add the slug which is for example this particular slug is missing from my website and I, i want to add that to your maps website to resolve that 400 error right and what you can do is just copy this no slashing just paste that here such that my website will be accessible again on this particular url so review this particular url and you will be good to go and start adding your content around it and click on publish and your website will be available there and there will not be a 404 code error so you can easily resolve that by adding the content to it on your wordpress website so there may be only two type of content first will be the post obviously and the second will be your page so you can just add those like you usually do on wordpress and for the non wordpress website you need to create that page okay i cannot provide a solution for you but something you can do easily so if you are a developer then you can start adding that particular files or backend file as you can see let me tell you how if i go to my files i go to the theme folder and there let's say there's some url that is not working like pdf to text this url is not working at all what you can do is go to the theme folder and where all those files are there just create a new file okay start coding it and create a content around it and upload that and you will be able to access this particular website so that's how you can easily replace that 404 code with your content and the second is you can redirect that particular url yes if you're getting a 404 code url like let me give you an example here i use the web server htaccess the apache web server and there are set of redirection i use because there are many URLs that were not working, so I redirected that particular URL to the 
new year as you can see here so what you can do is as you can see here this is something which is being redirected to this so if i click or if i click on this let's see what it does so it redirected to the working one which is the js minifier so that's how you can easily redirect your url to the new one this is for the HTTP access part which we have done here but if you use ngx server you can also do that easily i will put the link in the description box where we i have defined how to redirect url in ngx and in the wordpress part you don't need to do anything you just need a rank math seo plugin so you should follow this link in the description box and sign up for the free account and you will be good to go and you after the installation go to the rank math and there is a redirection and there you need to add a new redirection source url which is not working and a destination url which is the most related to the source url and you will be need to add the redirection and you are fine and you won't be able to get the 404 url so that's how you can easily manage your 404 urls so even if you don't want to redirect that then that's okay you can ov always optimize your 404 template yes you can optimize your 404 template with the navigation like if i go to the visit my website and just go to any website which deserves 404 so here i have added the search option so you can just search for the related tag let the user to search for the related content and just go to go you can add here anything like category or a recent post or something like that you can start adding that here so for that part you need to go to the dashboard and if you know a little bit about the designing then you will be able to do that go to the theme file editor and there will be a template parts which is the 404.php and there you can easily manage that and for that part you also have many plugins out there which you can use for your 404 page so that's how you can optimize your 404 page so that's about it about the 404 now we moving forward to 403 403 is all about the forbidden okay you don't give access to the public to access your particular website for example if i go to my file servers so here is the blog where my blog is like if i go to my blog this is the slash blog as you can see this is the blog section and now if i change my permission or you may have changed your permission on your server side like here just right click on it let me change the permission to 000 no one can actually access that click ok and if i reload that you will be able to see the 403 forbidden so that means i have instructed my server or apache server to not render that page to anyone not even me not the group or not the public so if you are getting such error 403 but forbidden you should check the permission yes check the permission of the file you are actually requesting it just right click on it check the permission just add the permission to 755 to make it accessible to the public and click ok and you will be having your website accessed so that's how you can easily add it your files permission and there is a second solution is there must be something wrong with your apache web server file so uh, apache web server file is instructed from the dot htaccess file so you have that apache server then you need to check if everything is working fine you need to audit your web server file if you use nginx you need to go to nginx dot co c o n f then which is the configuration file for the ngx server you need to check that out if it's everything is working accordingly or not for example if i delete everything from the htaccess file click on save and let's see go to this everything is working fine F go to the home everything is working fine right but if i go to the seo tools there is the 404 not found so you need to check your apache web service configuration file if it's everything is working or not and you will be good to go so that's how you can easily handle your 403 forbidden error with such steps which i have described and now the third option will be obviously you can redirect anytime so redirect that particular url to the most related content to that particular url old url then you that error will be resolved 
and what about the 401 401 you will let me give you a brief what it is so 401 is all about the authentication if the, something uh, is failed on the authentication part then maybe login is failed or registration is failed then you need to check your databases so you just go to the database and ch- go to the php my admin and check if it's everything is working fine from there then you can just obviously reload your backup so last solution for everything is to restore your backup so if you have a backup of your website that's restore it because there may be something that is not working right now and may be working a day or a year ago or even a month ago then you may have a backup of it just upload that backup and you will be good to go so if you have learned something from this video and if you still didn't correct your 404 errors then you should start describing your situation in the description box we will be able to help you out we will access your situation and will be help you out and if you want a uh, alternative solution just go with the stack overflow and search for your status code like here i will search for the 401 error and there will be plenty of articles out there which has already been asked by the people and just see if you can actually rectify and correct that onto your blog or a website So if you have learned something from this video click the like button and if you want to learn more with us then do hit the subscribe button and if you want to share this to your colleague or friend do select the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye